I'm warning you up front, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer TikTok, but I think you're gonna wanna watch this one. A common question I get about Google Forms slash the Google Sheet that it's attached to for the responses is how can I get my responses to show at the top so that I don't have to scroll the whole way down my spreadsheet to see the most recent submitted item from a Google Form? I have a way to do this. So you can actually have from the Google Form being submitted, instead of that response falling to the bottom of your spreadsheet, it's gonna sit at the top of your response sheet. Just looking at the timestamp here, I just wanna give you an example. So this is a normal spreadsheet somebody put in on the Google form and you can see that they go in time stamp order from top to bottom. On this one, as you can see, my top two responses are the most recent ones rather than me having to scroll the whole way to the bottom. There are two components to this since we're running this Google Sheet off of the Google form submissions. Go ahead and start by opening the Google Sheet attached to your Google form. Select your extensions and then choose Apps Script. If it's the first time you've ever opened this, you may have to connect your Google account to the app script or make sure that you're logged into it. So on this screen, I'm really just starting a new project. And so I named my project that I want form submissions at the top, just so I remember. And then I can reuse this script on different sheets in my drive. I'm gonna select all of this and I already have the code that I need copied. So I'm gonna control V and I'm just gonna paste it right in there. Feel free to pause if you need to copy this. Now this part right here with the form responses one, that aligns with whatever your sheet name is. So if you've renamed your sheet, you're gonna wanna make sure that you make that whatever the name of your sheet is. Make sure to save your project. Now you can see that this sort responses is changed. You see that's in your code down here. And then you also wanna run this. Before I run it, I just want to show you again that my sheet is in timestamp order from top to bottom. So I'm going to select run and let it run. You're most likely going to have to review permissions and allow Google to access your sheet. And so that went very quickly. And now when I come back up here, as you can see, the names are reversed. Okay, so that was the first part. Remember I said there were two parts to this. So I'm going to go ahead and make a second TikTok showing the second part of this. Go ahead and hit that follow button so you don't miss it.